Hey there, guys. So today we have another review, and this is a beer from Jeff. Thank you for the trade so much. Uh, he's a viewer and recently offered trade, and I traded uh, with him. And we have here Double Dry Hopped Melcher Street IPA from Trillium Brewing out of Boston, uh, one of my favorite breweries. And I've actually had this before. After doing some research, I believe JC, the owner, or one of the co-owners of the brewery, uh, mentioned that this beer has Mosaic and Columbus in it. So huge fan of Mosaic, um, huge fan of Trillium, and <laughs> excited about their IPA. Let's dig in. Oh man, look at that color. Jeez, wow. That is a, you guys seem to go nuts for a uh, treehouse color, but that's an, this is another one just like that. Holy smokes, that New England style. Uh, that <laughs> looks, it's a 100% hazy, nice rich golden color, um, a little bit of orange in that. Man, that is one of the most pretty uh, uh, IPAs, uh, IPAs I've seen. Reminds me a little bit of the green that I was going crazy over that color. Jeez, really nice and golden, almost like a sunny delight kind of color. Uh, awesome fluffy head. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> yeah, that is mosaic. Um, man, that is nuts. I, I, I remember having this on draft and being blown away by it, but it's even more awesome, just uh, even more amazing, just having a full pour, having the take you here. Holy smokes. That is nuts, a nuts amount of a mosaic. Um, it's just huge, like uh, kumquats and papaya and just really bright kind of citrus notes. A lot of citrus zest. Uh, the astringency almost of that pith and those oils just being smacked in your face when you open up a grapefruit, uh, a yellow grapefruit and or, or an orange. Tangerine. Um, I get a little bit of uh, peachiness as well. White peach. Oh man, uh, just again, lots of citrus zest, a little bit of mango and passion fruit. Absolute mosaic bomb. Yeah, uh, last time I remember I had a mosaic bomb like this was maybe Society in Solitude 6, which is one of my favorite beers from Hill Farmstead, which makes uh, an exclusively uh, mosaic hopped uh, double IPA. Holy smokes, that is nuts. A little bready sweetness behind there. Uh, smells right up my alley. Cheers, guys. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my god. Yeah. It transitions on hop, hop flavor. That's absolutely incredible. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Um wow. Where do I start? Up front. It's it's a nice tropical kind of uh tropical kind of sweetness. Not as juicy as maybe something like Citra or maybe something like Galaxy, but it has a really wonderful kind of white peach thing again. I think white peach flesh almost like something like a white nectarine. Oh man, wonderful kind of, again, that zestiness is coming through. It's, it's yellow grapefruit, it's the, it's the pith of an orange, it's the oils, uh, it's the zest. Tangerine is coming through, passion fruit. Oranges. Yeah, just like biting is orange, including the, um, I guess when you eat an orange, there's also that like, uh, the slices when you eat, when you, Open an orange and you uh, get into the slices. There's the 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 pulpy part, the pulpy part, the pulp part of an orange, and it has that kind of astringency and little bitterness as well. Really nice creamy uh, mouthfeel. A little bit of crackery malt in the middle. Flies away in the palate really nicely. Lingering of a little bit of drying, a little bit of grassiness. I get a good amount of melon quality as well on the back end. A little bit of kind of. Uh, a light kind of cantaloupe flavor. A um, little bit of uh, bitterness, touch of bitterness, I would say medium minus. Really clean, flies off the palate. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is one of my uh, new favorite IPAs. Oh man, that is so good. Uh, we actually have this um, next to Uppercase. If you don't already know, is a new beer from Trillium, their anniversary double IPA. I'll post you a link to actually um, uh, uh, what cheers Nick reviewed it and he was blown away by that beer and I, I actually had this beer next to the uppercase which I guess is um, IPA to the uppercase is double IPA and, I, and we actually preferred this beer um, obviously they're different beers but still this was just something a little bit more drinkable and also just had a brighter kind of hot profile exactly what's happening here with the mosaic is just absolutely nuts yeah this is easily one of my uh, favorite IPAs um, I would say it's up there again with the green that I was mentioning earlier from Treehouse Hill Farm said Susan. Um, this is 100 plus out of 100. Top tier. <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> sorry about that. Top tier 100 out of 100. One of the best um, IPAs out there. Um, hi, guys, I highly recommend you check out Trillium. They're a hugely underrated brewery. 
Right now, I believe you can actually go to the brewery, get a case of around eight beers and growler fills. And from what the stories I've heard and the times I've been there, it does not seem like a brewery that's completely crowded, very much like the cult following that Hill Farms at and Treehouse has. Um, Trillium is just absolutely crazy. One of my top five breweries. I actually plan on doing a top five brewery review, uh, like video, beer talk. But this is absolutely amazing. Highly recommended. Let me know what you guys think about um, Melcher Street or Double Dry Hop Melcher. And uh, until next time, guys, cheers. Later.